Hey everyone, welcome back to Typical Tech Lad, where we dive deep into the latest tech to keep you informed and up to date. Today we're pitting two of the most talked about smartphones against each other, the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G and the Nothing Phone 2A. We'll be comparing these two devices across various categories including design, display, performance, camera, battery, software and of course the price. By the end of this video you'll have a clearer picture of which phone might be the right choice for you. So when it comes to the design and build of the phones, the Galaxy A55 is using the more premium materials from the two phones. It's got aluminium frame along with a glass back and then weighs in at 213 grams. Whereas the phone 2A features a plastic back, aluminium buttons and nothing have prioritized sustainable materials. The phone 2A weighs 190 grams. So so weighs 23 grams less than the Galaxy A55. But regardless of using plastic material and frame, in no way feels cheap it's got a nice weight to it i think and then we'll just check out rockage where phone 2a is considerably less than the galaxy a55 we'll check out what the haptics are like on both of these phones well i'll try to show you as best as i can anyway Right, so we'll have a look at the displays on both of these phones. The Galaxy A55 has a 6.6 inch Super AMOLED display at a resolution of 1080 by 2340 equating in 390 dpi. It supports 120Hz refresh rate and HDR10 plus with a peak brightness of 1000 nits and the display is covered in Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. On the other hand, the Nothing Phone 2A has an AMOLED display at a resolution of 1080 by 2412 resulting in a PPI of 394. It also supports 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10 plus and has a peak hdr brightness of 1300 nits so that's 300 more than the galaxy a55 and is covered with warning gorilla glass 5 they both dim decently low then if you have a look at the settings for the photo a when it comes to display refresh rate we have an option of dynamic high or standard whereas on the galaxy a55 we have adaptive and standard so you have that extra option on the phone 2a and when it comes to colors you know you can pick between vivid natural or alive and standard just different formats different ways of saying the same thing really but i did notice on the galaxy a55 when the screens are off it has this kind of gray tint to it being angles were similar on both phones even though i think the phone 2a performs better both phones support 4k playback on youtube and they will check out what the displays are like side by side and they both support 4k 60 hdr playback on youtube as well So because they're using AMOLED displays, colors are vibrant, sharp, and I personally preferred the screen of the Nothing Phone 2A. I feel like the colors are a bit better on there. And then outside, both phones fare well in bright environments, whereas we can see in direct sunlight, both of them performing the same day. So when it comes to speakers, both of the phones have stereo speakers set up with a bottom firing speaker and the earpiece acting as a second speaker. The Galaxy A55 has Dolby Atmos support, whereas the phone 2A doesn't, but we'll check out how they both sound.
so below. Know what I'm saying, Rick? Morty, you must be referring to these excellent boxer shorts we got from the good folks at Boxer Lobster. Boxer Lobster boxers feel like they're warm butter on your schwants. And they come in all sorts of styles. Neon, plaid, orange. I, mean, I even got a pair with that little uh, uh, the raccoon man from that one movie. I personally enjoyed the Phone 2A speakers better as I found them to have a bit more depth to them and overall a better experience. Audio is subjective and that was just my personal preference. <laughs> So, under the hood of the phones, the A55 is powered by the Exynos 1480 chipset and XClips 540 GPU along with 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM. The phone 2A is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro chipset and then the Mali MC4 GPU and again it comes with 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM. But we will have a look at benchmarks on the phones quickly so we can see for Geekbench 6 scoring very similar on single score, well exactly the same on my test and then multi score the Galaxy a55 scored a bit higher than the phone 2a when it comes to n22 again the galaxy a55 scored higher 685,000 on the phone 2a and 725,000 so you're talking 40,000 points difference 3d mark with a wildlife stress test the phone 2a scored slightly higher on the loop scores and for the monitoring both phones were near enough the same with FPS ranging between 15 to 30. So for the Galaxy A55, you get four years of OS updates and five years security patches. For the phone 2A, we get three years of Android updates and four years of security patches, which is a reasonable amount for both but good to see support that is that many years and then we'll just quickly check out what performance is like on the phones themselves just gonna open up a bunch of apps here so you just get an idea of how they perform again very similar in my eyes basically quick and snappy hardly any wait times there might have been times when one phone performs a bit better than the other We'll check out export times on the phone. I have 1080p footage, roughly three and a half minutes long, loaded on the A55 bit. I will see how long that takes to export. So we can see that basically here, a minute and five seconds to export that. And then the same clip loaded on the phone 2A. And I'm gonna export that again. And we can see on the phone 2A, that's taken 2 minutes and 32 seconds there. So the Galaxy A55 beat the phone 2A in that respect by quite a margin. Next, we'll check out some gaming on the phone just to see how each phone handles gaming. And this is going to be a more intense, heavy gaming that I perform on the phones. So first, I'm going to start off with Asphalt 9. Got both of them set to high quality and 60 FPS and absolutely no problem both the phones ran the game at 60 slash 59 fps nice and smooth and we can see temperatures reasonable so this is exactly the most graphic intense game but just like a good starting point and then we'll jump into call of duty mobile warzone so the galaxy a55 has high for the graphic settings as the top end and the phone 2a topped out at mid the 2a was running at around 52 frames per second and the a55 is running at around 56 fps and we have to keep in mind that's on the high graphic settings so that's not bad the phone 2a's temperature is at around 35 degrees for the a55 the temperature was around 39 degrees and this is probably around 20 minutes into playing the game i'm going to drop the quality on the galaxy a55 to mid play that for a little while longer but the temperature was still high but that obviously could do with the phone had kind of heated up but i definitely feel like the phone 2a handled heat dissipation a lot better than the galaxy a55 you know i could really feel the galaxy a55 warming up in my hands so both phones have a 5000 milliamp hour battery with a with the A55 supporting up to 25 watt charging, whereas the Nothing Phone 2A supports up to 45 watt. That's good to see. We can see various specs that they put forward on playback times and how much you can actually expect. And then GSM Arena done their tests on both of the phones and can see here that the phone 2a got 15 hours and 53 minutes whereas the galaxy a55 got 13 hours and 27 minutes for my testing i got 11 hours and 21 minutes on phone 2a and then 11 hours and 41 minutes on the galaxy a55 
But if you have a look in the settings, we've just got your kind of, you know, normal battery settings here. On the A55, you have some battery protection options, which is good to see. So you can have like the battery stop charging when it reaches 80%, for example, extending the battery health and life. Whereas the 42A had a bit more limited options, but again, you know, you can see battery percentage, battery health. Galaxy A55 definitely has more options when it comes on battery side. So when it comes to the optics, the Galaxy A55 has a three camera setup with 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, 15 megapixel wide angle, and then a five megapixel macro camera with a 32 megapixel selfie camera. And the phone 2A has a dual camera setup on the back with two 15 megapixel cameras and one being ultra wide with 114 degrees field of view and the other one being OIS and EIS supportive and has a 32 megapixel front camera also. So we'll check out some video footage and pictures that I took with the phone. That's my little comparison between the two phones. If you were to ask me to pick between them both, I would have to say I would go for the phone 2A just because of the price and what you're getting and what the phone is capable of. I think it is a really good value for money and that would definitely be my personal choice. But I hope the video kind of gave you a bit more insight into these two mid-range phones and would help you decide on which one you could actually purchase and which one will benefit you. Thank you for watching guys and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.